Hello everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create some 3D text in After Effects with the use of expressions. So this is going to be a great video for anyone who wants to learn some new expression terms and just generally wants to learn how to use them in their workflow. And if you are wondering that why the hell would you use expressions for 3D text when you have Element 3D? Well, that is true, but when you're working with motion graphics or some people, 3D text is not the only component in your scene. You're gonna have flares, you're gonna have stock footage, you're gonna have 3D particles, you're gonna have 3D text on that. And when you're trying to render this whole scene, your workflow can get very very slowish and very sluggish which is in turn going to affect your efficiency and the speed of your whole project. So this technique is going to be great because everything is created inside of After Effects so the rendering is very good and it's going to be great uh, as an alternative to Element 3D and on top of that you get to learn different expressions so this is really really good and with that being said let's get started. So I'm going to create a new composite and yeah awesome people since everything is created in After Effects I have taken the time to keep everything adjustable and editable so if I change my main text you're going to see that in my final uh, pre-composition everything is going to update so this is going to be great and of course yes yeah, since this is 3D in After Effects they can even add some really good camera movements see that? Alright, so let's get started awesome people. I'm going to create my uh, new composition, text, 0, 1, final. And now awesome people, I'm going to take my text tool, type something, I'm going to say fast, actually you know, even better, I'm going to say returns, furious or fast or someone at least returns. And next awesome people is to pre-compose your text layer. This is to keep it editable later. So if you want to change it, you can always go and change it again. So I'm going to rename this to text01 replace layer. Now also awesome people, I'm going to make this into a 3D layer. So I'm going to hit the P key, Alt click on stopwatch for adding my expression and this is what I'm going to type. I'm going to extend this a little bit. X equals something, Y equals something and Z is going to equal something. I'm from India so I say Z. Okay, so X equals very simple awesome people, x is going to equal the first value, add in the semicolon, y is going to equal the second value, again semicolon, and z instead of this equaling to the third value, we're going to say this equals index. Index awesome people is the layer number right here, this number right here is the index. So if I was to complete my expressions by typing x uh, bracket, box bracket, x comma y comma z close bracket and if I was to let go you're gonna see that the, okay you're gonna get an error because I forgot to type in the semicolon now if I let go you're gonna see the awesome people that x and y stay the same x and y axis stay the same because 960 540 that's what I typed in you know attach it with pick whip but index changed before it was 0 before the expression was 0 and after that it became 1 because it's taking the value from here right this this right here you know the layer number so now what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll you know take the advantage of this whole system that we just made and we will multiply z this value with something so i'm going to say z into 20. so what's going to happen is it's going to read z equals index so z equals this number whatever this number is into 20 and that's going to be the final output so if i let go right now you're going to see that this number just jumped 20. Now if I duplicate this layer or some people, you're going to see that the second layer becomes 40 because the index of the second layer is 2. So 2 into 20 is equal to 40. Now if I keep on duplicating this, you're going to have an extrusion effect because the text layers are being pushed behind uh, in the Z space and you're going to get that extrusion effect. So again. 10 into 20 equals 200 and we didn't have to manually stack layers behind. This is great because every time, you know, this is being done in a proper system, so you're going to get really good order. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all these layers because we're not, even though we're getting the extrusion, it doesn't look really nice. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to go to FX and presets, type in brightness and contrast, take that effect, drop it onto the text layer, alt click the brightness because again, okay, everything is, um, you know, what do you say, expressions, we're going to uh, take the advantage of the index system one more time. So index uh, into minus 10, okay, sorry, brackets minus 10. 
and again what's going to happen is index of the layer so layer number into minus 10 and if i let go you're going to see this is going to become minus 10. so if i duplicate this this is going to be minus 20 and if i keep doing this the last one is going to become minus 100 and therefore we're going to get a really nice uh, you know color shift effect and that's what is going to create that fat extrusion now if you were to play around awesome people this technique depends on what font you're using what color you're using how many alphabets are there in your word so for you it may be a little bit different you may want to check out uh, you know how much are you multiplying your z value with let me just do this how much are you multiplying your z value with and how much you want to reduce the brightness from so minus i think it works good but if you want to take this up go to minus 15 and that's it you can see this you're gonna get a slight error right there all right so uh, i'm gonna delete all my text layers now and i'm gonna show you this one more time because of the expressions if you just keep on duplicating this you're gonna get a nice extrusion effect Okay, so this looks good, but in order to complete the entire effect, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to FX and presets, type in RAMP, R-A-M-P, and take it and drop it onto the first layer, not to all the layers, please don't do this, this is bad, select all of them and apply RAMP to all of them, don't do that, it's very bad, or don't create an adjustment layer, yeah, I, even though we are going advanced, you're not going that advanced, so RAMP to the first layer, that's it, okay. Now what I want, like at least this is what I like to do, I like to change the second color to black I like to change the first color to the color that we were working with from the start, so right there and, uh, A little more brightness to it And then also people, I like, just like to squish, I like the transition to be very very tight between the two colors So I'm taking the start of the ramp, bringing it down and I'm going to take the end of the ramp And bring it really really close, like that And not giving me that effect there you go that is something good or what you can actually do awesome people is you can just go into your replace text copy this color Control c bring here and just paste it ramp it's gonna save you a lot of time i think i should have done that from the beginning and click on this one more time where is my start of the ramp? Okay, there you go. There it is. Ah, there you go. That looks really good to me. Okay, awesome people. Moving on. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take uh, another effect called Bevel Alpha and apply it to the first layer. Again, not to all the layers, just the first layer. And this is going to give it a little more of that lighting effect that is really going to bring the front part of your text out a little. It's going to give it a nice thick effect. So you can play around with the settings in Bevel Alpha, like change the edge thickness to two from like go from two to one, um, go to two from two point five. Maybe change the angle a bit. Try that. Uh, but I kind of leave it on the default because the default works for me. And the good thing about this whole thing, awesome people, is that first of all, everything is editable. Uh, everything was automated. And because everything is 3D and After Effects, like 3D text layers, we can add a bit of camera movement so it's not static the whole time so hit the p key and i'm gonna take the first value up a bit say to say to one one five zero start the animation go to first second reset this and key play this back and you're gonna see awesome people that even though this is taking a bit of time but if you were to render this render your elementary full output uh, it's going to take a lot more time so this again it's not giving me that much of an effect but when you composite this with some text layers with some flares with some um with some nice particle systems some effects you can really create some really nice promos and title shots and you know it can work for a client who's not paying you that much um you know for putting your machine through that much processing power stressing your machine out um so works in that situation and you get to learn some new expression terms. So my name is TJ Style. Thank you so much for watching my expressions tutorial. I hope you guys learned something today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, 
please subscribe like my facebook page the link is going to be in the description guys if you have any problems with this tutorial if you guys uh, have any problems with the templates contact me on facebook i'll be more than happy to help you guys please subscribe like this video on youtube my name is gj style i will see you all next time take care and peace